The UAE corporate law regulates the governance, finance, and power of corporations. Every emirate has its basic corporate code. So how do you go about incorporating a company in Abu Dhabi? What exactly should you be aware of? A first step is to clarify the type of business you need to start, focusing on elements such as sector of activity, number of shareholders, and general jurisdiction preferences. Based on those, procedures will differ. Generally, you have two main options, forming a limited liability company, LLC, or setting up a sole establishment. LLCs can be formed with multiple shareholders. Sole establishments cannot. Sole establishments can be cheaper to set up but have unlimited liability for the owner. This could end up being very costly for the owner if they run into financial or legal trouble. Unless you have a specific reason for choosing sole proprietorship, setting up an LLC is likely to be your best option, and it's generally the most popular business setup in the UAE. In the UAE, a company can be formed in any of the following three jurisdictions, mainland, free zone, and offshore. Let's go over the differences between these three options. Free trade zone. In the UAE, free trade zones are areas that have a special tax, customs, and import regime, and are governed by their framework of regulations, except for criminal law. The free zones available in Abu Dhabi broadly cover the aviation, finance and financial services, renewable energy, manufacturing and logistics, media sectors, and their related support activities. Each free zone has different costs, different lists of permitted business activities, different location and facilities options, as well as different share capital requirements. Mainland, the Department of Economic Development, or equivalent, DED, is the licensing authority and corporate regulator of companies on mainland UAE. To set up on mainland UAE, you can apply directly to the DED after selecting your license type and business activity. While previously subject to foreign ownership restrictions, as of 2020, new legislation will remove requirements for 51% national ownership on onshore companies. The government can still apply some restrictions though. Specific activities deemed of strategic impact will continue to be subject to restrictions on foreign ownership. Offshore, not to be confused with a free zone company setup, an offshore company is usually formed under a no tax jurisdiction law to avoid the tax laws of a country. Traditionally, foreign investors could hold interests in a UAE business via traditional offshore structures such as the British Virgin Islands. The UAE now also offers alternative offshore structures that provide similar and competitive benefits. For instance, Abu Dhabi Global Markets Financial Free Zone created a flexible special purpose vehicle, SPV regime, for a broad range of business types, uses, and industry sectors. SPVs are corporate vehicles holding interest in mainland companies. Established to isolate financial and legal risk by ring fencing, assets and liabilities, they offer investors greater protection and control. Some of the benefits include fast, efficient setup process, tax residency certificate, access to independent civil and commercial legal regime and independent English common law courts, no physical office space is required, no minimum share capital, no maximum number of shares or shareholders, and different classes of shares are permitted, no restrictions on the nationality of share ownership. It is important to be aware that SPVs cannot be used to conduct operational business or hire staff in the UAE. Overall, the three jurisdictions have their pros and cons and offer entrepreneurs different business opportunities based on their priorities. Understand each to choose the setup that's right for your business.